bright beauty every student matters hello dear students today we'll be studying lenses in this our chapter light refraction of light now what exactly are lenses lenses are the transparent material which are bound by a particular surface it may be spherical surface on both the sides or it may be one spherical surface and one plane surface layman terms let us explain type of lenses when we were talking about type of lenses we have seen that there are two type of lenses one is the convex lens as we have studied earlier and second is the concave lens right fine we have studied about these two lenses let us now see a bit of details of these thing when i am talking about convex lens i have seen that this is a kind of convex lens this is the middle that is the optical center of this lens this is a principal axis which was going joining the midpoint of the lens let us mark it pa principal axis fine when i am talking about concave lens this is my concave lens this is the optical center represented by o and this is principal axis the line joining the midpoint of the or the optical center of the lenses now this convex lens we have just studied that it is a kind of converging lens right converging lens means it will bend the light rays towards the principal axis now let us see how this actual bending takes place right we have studied about where from where to bend for example this is a parallel ray of light parallel to the principal axis we'll take it to the middle of this we have already seen an imaginary middle and from here i will bend the light ray towards the principal axis this is known as convergence bending towards the principal axis similarly if a ray of light is coming from downward direction and it is parallel to the principal axis after passing through this converging lens or the convex lens it will bend towards the principal axis like this got it but concave lens is a kind of diverging lens now when i talk about diverging lens uh, what i mean to say is i mean to say that the light rays will be going away from the principal axis after passing through this lens right let us see how if there is a parallel ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis we have to bring it to the imaginary center i don't have to draw this center of course right just keeping in mind now after passing through this concave lens it will bend away from the principal axis principal axis is down so it will go, go away from it right similarly if a light ray is coming from down then after reflection once again it will go away from the principal axis got it this is the concept of divergence now students try to relate these were the light rays coming parallel to the principal axis after passing from the lens when they converge then these light rays actually meet each, each other at a particular point on the principal axis this particular point we term it as the principal focus principal with al right the principal focus of the lens and we mark it as f1 right this is the principal focus the main focus of this particular con convex lens right and the distance from the optical center to this focal length this is termed as the distance of the focus from the optical center this is termed as focal length and it is represented as small f the focal length is the distance of the principal focus from the optical center right now if i take the double distance then i relate it with twice f1 this is twice the 
focal length right now when i am talking about focus there is one thing we need to keep in mind what exactly is that thing the focus is formed to the opposite direction from which the incident rays were coming actually let us take an example where this was a convex lens this was the principal axis now if the light rays are coming from this direction then also from the center when i will bend the light rays then in that case the focus will be formed and this will be the principal focus termed as f1 and one thing once again to observe is that the focus or the principal focus is getting formed in the direction opposite to the direction from where the principal axis or sorry the incident rays were coming got it so if we are assuming that the light rays are coming from this direction so we are assuming that the principal focus is formed here but had it been the other way round the principal focus would have been here and in order to relate the equal focal length we mark the same distance away from the optical center we mark it as f2 and the double of it as twice f2 this f1 is the principal focus f2 is the secondary focus which would have been the principal focus if the light rays would have been coming from the opposite side right so the distance from o to f1 is the focal length in this particular right hand side and it is the same from o to f2 it is the same distance this is also the focal length got it now in case of concave lens what we see is the light rays they are diverging right so if they are diverging of course we don't see any possibility of these light rays meeting each other anywhere fine so what we do is we just extend these light rays with a dotted line and the point where these dotted light rays actually not they are not meeting actually but they are appearing to meet this will be termed as the principal focus of a concave lens if this is the principal focus f1 then in that case we'll mark twice f1 the double of this this side and again with the same concept we'll apply f2 and over here the double of the focal length that is twice f2 fine got it so this is the principal focus of a concave lens now if we try to relate a few things between convex lens and concave lens we'll see quite important differences between them what are the various differences between convex lens and concave lens first structure wise convex lens is a lens which is thick at the center thin at the edges whereas concave lens is thin at the center and thick at the edges that is the first difference right second difference we have seen is that convex lens is a converging lens that is it will bend the incident rays towards the principal axis whereas concave lens is a diverging lens <coughs> right next we see that in the case of convex lens the focus is formed with the actual meeting of the light rays so we can say that we have got a real focus in the form of convex lens what is meant by saying that it is a real focus real focus means the focus is formed by the actual meeting of the light rays but when we talk about concave lenses the focus formed is not by actual meeting of the light rays this is formed when we have extended the light rays so this type of focus is known as virtual focus got it so here the principal focus is a virtual one another difference that we can relate is that here the focus is formed opposite to the direction of the incident rays 
द प्रिंसिपल फोकस इज फॉर्मड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द कॉन्वेक्स लेंस वेयर एज इन केस ऑफ कॉन्केव लेंसेज वी सी दैट द फोकस इज फॉर्मड इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एज दैट ऑफ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इंसिडेंट रे और आई कैन से ऑन द सेम साइड from where the incident incident rays were coming and this focus is formed on left side of the lens when i talk about the left side or the right side i am taking the distances from optical center optical center this side is the right hand side this is the left hand side optical center this is the right hand side this is the left hand side right so these are a few things related to convex lens and concave lenses now when we have seen that these two lenses they are converging diverging the kind of focus they are forming after studying all we'll be studying a bit more in detail about the type of images formed by these two lenses one by one as to where we are going to place the object in front of them and as to where the image will be formed what exactly will be the nature of the image the size of the image what type of images where exactly the images are formed fine 